Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. We are here to compare the dipole moment in chlorobenzene and cyclohexyl chloride. First let us see what is dipole moment. Dipole moment is the product of the magnitude of the charge and the distance between the centers of positive and negative charge. This is a vector quantity. It means it depends both on magnitude and direction of the bond dipole. To find the dipole moment, let us see a beautiful mnemonic, DP is nice. D stands for difference in electronegativity, P periodic to longer bond length and smaller bond angle, F symmetry, no net polarity, individual dipole cancel each other. If you look at this mnemonics, the first two tells about the dipole moment, why it is increased in some molecule. If there is a difference in electronegativity is greater and that bond length is longer then that compound possesses greater dipole moment. Let us compare that chlorobenzene and cyclohexyl chloride. If you look at this here we have that double bond and this cyclohexyl chloride only single bond. Due to this double bond character this carbon becomes now sp2 carbon but the carbon here is sp3 carbon. Now we go to compare that electronegativity of sp2 carbon and sp3 carbon. You can see here the sp2 carbon the x character is greater than sp3 carbon because of that more percentage of s character greater than s character then greater is the electronegativity. So that is why for carbon the electronegativity is 2.5 and chlorine highly electronegative element compared to carbon its electronegativity is 3. So sp2 carbon has more electronegativity. So here in chlorobenzene this sp2 carbon has more electronegativity when compared to that sp3 carbon of cyclohexyl chloride. So due to that what happens now the difference the electronegativity difference between carbon and chlorine becomes smaller when compared to the difference between carbon and chlorine of cyclohexyl chloride. So that is one of the reason that means difference in electronegativity is greater then the dipole moment is also greater. So here the difference in electronegativity is greater due to sp3 hybridized to carbon. So that is why this difference in electronegativity is greater. Then there is another point the bond length due to that lone pair on that chlorine atom this undergoes resonance for example if you look at this chlorine this lone pair can form a double bond here so that is why this double bond breaks and forms the negative charge over the ortho position so this becomes positive charge so the bond length becomes lesser for C double bond C the bond length is 134 picometer but for C single bond C bond length is 154 picometer so priority to longer bond length so if the bond length is greater then dipole moment is also greater so we have that longer bond length only here because of C single bond so these are the two reasons one is that electronegativity difference the another one is bond length is greater in cyclohexyl chloride so due to that dipole moment of cyclohexyl chloride is greater so this is the reason chlorobenzene has less dipole moment compared to cyclohexyl chloride so remember this mnemonic dp is nice difference in electronegativity priority to longer bond length and smaller bond angle if symmetry no net polarity individual dipole cancel each other if you remember this mnemonic you can solve any dipole moment based question easily thanks for watching